when emotions run high, it should be good when the Panthers meet the Pirates. How about the last time? Brown gives it to Graves, the freshman. Seton Hall by one, seven seconds left. Graves with the runner, no good, kept alive. Rebound Seton Hall, foul Mark McCarroll, and time has run out. And Seton Hall has upset the fourth-ranked Pittsburgh Panthers. Welcome to the sold-out Peterson Event Center, University of Pittsburgh, where today it's the Pirates and the Panthers when they last met in February of last year. The double overtime game won by the Pirates. Good afternoon, everyone. Don Crickey with Bucky Waters. The uh, Pirates of Seton Hall consider this a critically important game, and they've had trouble winning here in the past. They've lost six of the last seven times they've come to Pittsburgh, but they do have that double overtime win in the last meeting. That was at home for the Pirates. And to get things going today, the Pirates under coach Louis Orr feel it's most important they get going their big guy, Kelly Whitney. Well, he is. He's a 6'8 bomber from Chicago, and he's the main man inside. If they're going to get a road win today, remember the last time the Pirates came in here, they lost by 32. So they've really got to get a big game out of Whitney, and he's capable. 13 points a game, eight boards. The Panthers rarely lose in this building until this year. They've lost their last two home games, which for them is unbelievable. They have uh, had some problems losing to even to Bucknell and then to Georgetown. Now they fear they're ready to get going. They won at Rutgers last Saturday. They have had a whole week to prepare. And their leader is Siobhan Troutman, a power forward. Power forward indeed. He's from Williamsport, PA, and the little leaguer he is not. The guy's a beast on the boards, Don. He averages 57% from the, from the floor. He only has eight rebounds a game, but what a force inside. I think we're going to be treated to a Troutman-Whitney matchup. That's special. So it's the Pirates and the Panthers in a Big East matchup coming up. The tip-off is next. Hey, what's the problem? I don't know. It just died on me. Okay, well, let's get you back into town. Oh, I appreciate it. If only every vehicle had a maintenance program as good as BMW's. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Lease the 2005 BMW 525i for $449 a month, only through January 31st. Cooper Z on 2XS Ultra High Performance Tire. Made to perform on the skid pad, the slalom, the track, and in the real world. Cooper Tires don't give up a thing. Where would we? <laughs> You've got a new Corolla. So cool. You like it? How could you afford that? No, it really wasn't bad. I even had money left over. So I went and bought Steve something. Why would you buy your ex anything? <laughs> it really is easy to get a new Corolla, especially now with a $169 a month lease. Corolla, one of 17 Toyotas moving you forward. Cruise lets you book your air and cruise together, saving you hundreds of dollars. Just pick your perfect destination, select an airline, and see your savings. Sign up at iCruise.com before March 1st and get air at 50% or more off on hundreds of your favorite sailings. Graves and Krauser. Al Krauser, a point guard from New York City, will have the ball a lot. Lewis Orr is the head coach of the Seton Hall Pirates, now just seeing his fourth season. And he feels that uh, rebounding is going to be the difference in this game. In fact, when you talk to both these coaches, Bucky, his counterpart, Jamie Dixon, says the same thing. The team that rebounds best is probably going to win it. Rebounding, and who goes to the free throw line the most? If you have to go to a guide, 
those two are pretty good indicators, but who knows? That's why we play the game. You see our officials today, Tim Higgins, Fran Connolly, and Bob Donato, as right now we're ready to jump the ball up. Ball in the air, and it goes over to Krauser of Pittsburgh. And the Panthers, who worked very hard yesterday, on banging the ball inside of their big man. That is uh, Chris Taft. A 6'10 sophomore from New York City. Here's Krauser who's had uh, turnover problems in the recent games. Nine turnovers in the last game. Pitt, a good outside shooting team, is getting careful attention by the Pirates in their man for man. Both these teams have had a full week to get ready for this game as uh, Krauser goes hard to the basket. And a whistle stops play. Well, that's a that's a plus for the Pirates. A uh, powerful Pittsburgh Panthers almost had a shot clock violation in the first opportunity end up with a turnover that speaks well for the Seton Hall defense now Allen outside for Seton Hall Whitney comes out high here's the freshman point guard Sarah Soli who has unbelievable upside tremendous ability and uh, jump shot doesn't go for Morris who's been in a shooting slump for Seton Hall he's now missed uh, he made just two of his last 14 shots dating back to the recent game. Did not score at all against Syracuse the last time out. Taft starts to move inside. Donald Copeland, who starts uh, much of the time at point guard, not playing today, did not make the trip because of influenza. Not seriously ill, but not well enough to play. So Copeland uh, is out. And he's their best outside shooter, shooting uh, like 41% from three. So uh, Seton Hall's really going to struggle from the perimeter without him. That means more and more that ball has to go into Whitney. Whitney and Trotman, they, they really enjoy playing against each other, Bucky, as you know. They're very similar in build, big, powerful guys, and they're always matched up one-on-one, -on -one, although Whitney told me before the game he expects to be doubled a lot today, and when they do that, he wants to get the ball out to the three-point arc. <laughs> Whitney's a talent. A lot rides though on Sarah Soli, the freshman point guard who uh, didn't do much against Syracuse but was sensational in a one point loss to Notre Dame in the previous game. Again, Morris can't get it to go. He needs something to drop. And here come the Pirates. Browser kicks it out, almost taken over. Antonio Graves goes down low. And a whistle again stops play inside. I know Krauser was. Uh finished uh, his freshman year second team all Big East and was a preseason selection but he, he doesn't look to me like he's in sync today though he's just not sharp with that ball well he's had 13 turnovers over the last two games we mentioned nine in the last game the Panthers in their loss here to Bucknell which was just shocked the basketball world had 15 turnovers at the half now as uh, Chris Taft turns and goes to the basket he is fouled and will go to the free throw line. One thing Pitt has going for them is great three point shooting. They're the number one three point shooting team in the Big East, number six in the country. Taft is just a unique athlete for his size. Got the quicks. Look at those stats. Just a sophomore. That is a bad looking stroke, though. <laughs> a, you had a. Uh, a knuckleball rotation. I, I think I think the window was open and, and a, one of those Pittsburgh breezes was something went very wrong on that release. Taft is a 62% uh, free throw shooter. He bricks two. And so nothing on the board yet. But over two minutes gone by in the first half. Pittsburgh with the great defense. John Beeline, the coach of West Virginia, said, uh, you play Pittsburgh, boy, you better have your offense with a lot of touches because they defend everything. And now the Panthers come down on a control break. Long ball, they shoot almost 44% as a team. Now they do for the season. That is number six in the country for team three-point shooting. And last year they weren't in the top 300, so they got seven right, Bucky, in the offseason. 
It was Antonio Graves who hit the uh, hit the shot in OT to win in overtime at Rutgers. Otherwise, these Panthers would be looking at a three-game losing streak. Here's Whitney working hard to the basket, and he's fouled as he goes. And he'll go to the free throw line. First hit of the day was in the outside of Pittsburgh with the three point shot. Either three point shooting, that is sensational. But to go from not in the top 300 percent of shooting from the arc to number six in the country, somebody found the secret. Well, you know, and, and last year their backcourt was so strong. Julius Page and Jerron Brown, that they, they, they were just the glue to this team. Part of the the uh, intimidating factor of coming in here was the, the, the defense on the perimeter. Paige Brown, I mean, you, you weren't worried about getting a first down, uh, much less scoring points. And uh, they're not as intimidating this year as the loss to Bucknell and the loss to Georgetown have indicated. There's only been three teams to win in this place. The other one was Syracuse. That makes a little sense. <laughs> Now both these teams are Justin. You talked about the loss of Page and Jerron Brown, but how about Seton Hall with the losing to graduation? Their great guard Andre Barrett. Now they're playing very well for the NBA's Houston Rockets. You Hall know, is tipped down low and it comes back inbound to I, the Panthers. I think they miss Tony L as well. He's one of those glue guys, much like Jerron Brown, that uh, you know it does the dirty work, doesn't show up big in the stats, but he's a winner. They went to. Uh, NCAA last year did the Pirates and beat upset Arizona and then the lost to Duke who eventually lost to Connecticut in the semifinals of the final four. Yeah they lost to Duke in the second round. Here come the uh, Seton Hall Pirates on the run. Rebound on the offensive end. Put back up and they'll have a shooter at the free throw line in Andre Sweet who was a transfer from Duke. Correct. Yeah. Seton Hall. He left early in his career. Uh, it was a good move. I think Tommy Amaker might have been the coach there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that, but uh, a lot of times those transfers work out for the best. Uh, he never really got a chance to uh, to work into the system there. He's a good player. From Rice High School in New York City, Andre Sweet at the free throw line, a 77% free throw shooter. We talked, uh, Bucky, about the importance of rebounding, and it's uh, noteworthy that Seton Hall has out-rebounded its last 12 opponents. Rebounding and free throws so far neither team really doing a good job from the line. They call them the charity strike. Coldest charity. And again they miss in the line and now Tim Higgins says it's going the Panthers way. So we have a collision. Grouser goes over and uh, tries to help him up. He is looking for the congeniality award. Seton Hall 0 for 4 shooting so far at the free throw line and 0 for 3 from the, the floor. Extending the defense now trying to get into transition. The Pirates having a hard time scoring against Pittsburgh's half court defense. So out of timeouts out of dead balls they'll hit you with that three quarter court trap trying to get a turnover between the circles so they can get some transition. And now Jamie Dixon goes big as he sends in uh, Aaron Gray a seven footer Mark McCarroll a six foot ten player. Here's Troughton always looking to set up a shooter Graves as the shot clock is down banks one off the front of the rim. Well, the Panthers like to make it thrilling with the shot clock. But Seton Hall four and a half minutes into the game. Has not put anything on the board yet. Here is Sarah Soli driving hard and no sooner said than the freshman drives the baseline of the court and will try to convert a three point play as he was fouled. Sarah Soli not strong physically but the freshman has that big step and that knifing ability to get to the basket. Now before uh, Sarah Soli shoots. There's a timeout on the floor. Now was on Antonio Gray. Have you ever started a car from across the road? Given your backseat passengers a tan? Or driven a four-door like a sports car? Introducing the first ever G6 from Pontiac. European-inspired styling and a 200-horsepower V6, all starting around 21.3. It's time to get in on the action. Be the first. See your local Pontiac dealer today. 
basketball fans, get ready for the 2005 Big East Women's Basketball Championship. March 5th through the 8th at the Hartford Civic Center in Hartford, Connecticut. See all 12 Big East Women's Basketball teams battle for the Big East Championship Tournament title. For tickets and more information, call 860-525-4500. That's 860-525-4500. Or log on to Ticketmaster.com. Where would we be without the highlight? Would anyone remember the drive, the catch, or the tuck? Would anyone ever say, did you see that? ESPN has spent 25 years putting the spotlight on the highlight. And it's all right here in ESPN 25 The Book. 25 mind-bending, eye-popping, culture-morphing years of highlights. A tribute to the plays you remember and the people that brought them to you. Plus, for the first time ever, an exclusive DVD with over 30 classic Sports Center commercials. ESPN 25 The Book, available now. Have you ever started a car from across the road? Given your backseat passengers a tan? Or driven a four-door like a sports car? Introducing the first ever G6 from Pontiac. European-inspired styling and a 200-horsepower V6, all starting around 21.3. It's time to get in on the action. Be the first. See your local Pontiac dealer today. We're back at the Peterson Event Center, University of Pittsburgh. Justin Sarasoli, the freshman guard from Chicago, going to the free throw line. He's an 80% free throw shooter. Good size at 6'5", and Lewis Orr said he's just a tremendous burst, tremendous quickness. And he completes a three-point play for the first points of the day for the Pirates, and they've tied the game. That's also the first point from the free throw line. They are now combined one for seven. From the floor, they're combined two for nine. The Steelers are the story here with what's like that old Iron Curtain defense. There's a lead pass on a breakaway. Seton Hall going hard to the basket and taking it and putting it up and down is J.R. Morris, a junior from Milwaukee. And Seton Hall takes the lead. Krauser again careless with that ball. Getting down in the baseline, no place to go. Equals turnover. And the Pirates ran. So I think Bucky, there's a lot more pressure on him to handle the ball more, to really run the offense with the absence of the two seniors who graduated, Julius Page and Jerron Brown. No question. But they got the three big guys in there, and the ball's got to go into them. Down low, the long shot by Ramon is no good. Put back by Mark McCarroll on the second try is up and down. And he will go to the free throw line. We don't hear much about Aaron Gray, the seven-foot sophomore, but he keeps that thing alive in there. I think he's going to be a good one. Gets a few more touches. Good intensity. Mark McCarroll on that offensive board. Another New Yorker from the Queens. And that Bucky's an event when he hits a free throw. He is uh, shooting a less than Sterling 15% from the free throw line. Mark McCarroll, but he hits that one. And he gives Pitt a one-point lead, 6-5. to five. Big news at Pitt, of course, this week was the hiring of Dave Wanstead, a former uh, Pitt player, later a Pitt coach, assistant on a national championship team and under Johnny Majors. Most recently, the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. He's the new head football coach of the Pitt Panthers. He's here today. We'll get a look at him as the game wears on. Terrific coach, Dave Wanstead. And he just hired the quarterback of that national championship team. Kavanaugh as his offensive coordinator as the freshman Sarasoli uh, bombs from the outside. It's an 8-6 Seton Hall lead. Yeah, he got his real break, Sarasoli, at South Bend and uh, really just put, put some moves on the uh, on the hour. 16 points, very impressive. And he's won that starting job. Yeah, he had four or five free throws in that uh, one point loss to Notre Dame to Sarasoli. 16 points. He had five assists and uh, five rebounds in that game. He's also drawn a tough defensive assignment, Don. He's uh, he's playing Carl Krauser, and Krauser's having a very difficult time shaking him. Sarasoli's got size, too. The ball's off the hands of uh, Gray inside. Aaron Gray normally got very good hands, and here is uh, J.R. Morris hitting a much-needed three. And the... He has five points now, and the Hall extends to an 11 to 6 lead. Morris has hit some big threes in his career from that wing, and uh, right now Pitt's not paying attention at either end of the floor. Home court not doing much for him. 
But Seton Hall after a very slow start. And there is Dave Wanstad with some recruits. Terrific football coach has a lot of rings national championship ring from his days as a coach at Pitt Super Bowl ring from his uh, days as a coach with the Cowboys and uh, he's a national championship ring when he's defensive coordinator for the Miami Hurricanes. So he's got rings and in front last week we were talking to Charlie Weiss new coach at Notre Dame and he has uh, three Super Bowl rings another uh, terrific coach hired this week in the Big East Greg Robinson who leaves the University of Texas. Goes as the head man at Syracuse, succeeding Paul Pasqualoni. There's the rig. <laughs> and uh, he has two uh, Super Bowl rings. This is Greg Robinson. He's the coordinator of the Broncos. It's an interesting trend now. You know, it doesn't matter if you hit 400 for six years or whatever. Do you have a ring? It's everything sort of the justification of your of your ability as an athlete. Did you win the championship? Well, let me tell you who's impressed by rings. The recruits. Yes. Very definitely. And facilities. And playing time. Charlie Weiss had a rock on from the Patriots that uh, looked like a wristwatch. Here is Ramon outside, the freshman guard, and Krauser will set it up over. And you're right there, Bucky. He's having trouble with Sarasoli. Sarasoli's very slight. He's got to get in the weight room. So told me before the game one of the reasons he came to the Big East because they have such a history of outstanding point guards. He wanted to be another one of them. McCarroll as they bring big people outside. Pete Hall playing a very tough aggressive defense. But the Panthers do a good job getting the ball down low. And Mark McCarroll at 6'10 goes off blast and makes it a three-point game. Pitt, as we pointed out, a good three-point shooting team. But the inside out is the better way to go. They gotta have those big guys get some touches. And the ball is thrown away as the Panthers uh, come down court. So far, uh, Pittsburgh having problems, Bucky, with turnovers. They have turned it over five times. The Hall has not turned it over yet. Yep. I don't want to be redundant, but uh, in that loss uh, to uh, Bucknell here, they had 15 at the half. And uh, that, that's really hard to fathom with athletes of this caliber. It's uh, got to be between the years because we know they can play. Well, in the last game of Syracuse, they turned the ball over at uh, with against Syracuse against uh, the Orange. They turned it over 20 times. Did uh, Seton Hall in that 25-point loss? Krauser on the bench now. Sarasoli picking up Graves, good shooter. I'm sure Jamie Dixon's trying to get uh, Krauser to settle down a little bit. Whitney, who got his first two points in the last trip down, defending nicely against the big guy, Taft. And now, J.R. Morris, who lost his shooting stroke, seems to have found it. He leads all scores with seven points. This is a guy who came into the game having missed 11 of his previous 13 shots. You know, University of Pittsburgh has a great medical center. They, they better get out something for lockjaw, because right now this crowd is totally out of it. They're stunned. Taft gets a roll. Big guy who comes in averaging uh, just over 14 points a game out of Xavierian, Prep, and Brooklyn. He gets uh, better all the time. He's 10 point scorer as a freshman, over 14 as a sophomore. Defending now. Kelly Whitney can't get it to drop. Grimaces as the ball caroms off, goes over to Antonio Graves. He's got to do more than grimace, he's got to follow his shot. <laughs> That doesn't get those offensive boards, does no. it? That grimace. Not, not even a, a Bill Cower grimace. The Steelers coach today <laughs> playing the Jets. Probably Whitney. the best there is. Yeah, he can grimace. Oh. And he can coach. Yes, he can. And where are all the people that were saying how Dan Rooney made a big mistake extending him in the offseason? Oh, they're right in the front of the right in the front of the bus, here. Steelers and the Jets go later today in Pittsburgh. This town is rocking. Introducing 7-Up Plus, a revolutionary combination of 7-Up, fruit juice, calcium, vitamin C, and a refreshing berry flavor. Thank you. For those who know what's good for them and aren't afraid to get it. Look, our lunch is right. And he brought grapes. 
seven up plus. When you add it all up, the only way to go is up. Nissan Altima with a comfortable new interior. Now with 1500 cash back or 1% financing, it's so easy for you to say, I do. But for now, sit back and enjoy your flight. Don Crickey with Bucky Waters back at the Peterson Event Center. Steeler fans in abundance. Who will win the next Super Bowl, Bucky? Well, I'll tell you what, three of the last four Super Bowl winners were the team that gave up the fewest points in the regular season. The team that gave up the fewest points in the regular season this year was the Pittsburgh Steelers. Last year was the Patriots. They, of course, won their second Super Bowl in three years. But uh, the Steelers, who gave up 251 points in the regular yeah. season, but two teams are right behind them, the Patriots and the Eagles each gave up just 260. Don, I'm amazed. I didn't realize you followed a minor sport that closely. That's pretty <laughs> darn amazing. Well, <laughs> oh, this town is lit up. Here, the Pittsburgh Panthers are nationally ranked, and they are on the ninth sports page on game day as a result of the Steelers playing the Jets here today in the playoffs. Yes, I've been following the NFL since the players wore Roman numerals. <laughs> That's good stuff. Since before the dead <laughs> since before the Dead Sea was sick. Uh, anyway, the guys in blue coming down again, a little pressure, trying to get some easy baskets. Trying to trying to attack that big team. Only two ball handlers on the floor when Jamie Dixon goes big but they haven't been able to capitalize. Another whistle stops play. Fran Connolly calls a foul. Krauser back off the bench. Nutter is called for the foul in the game. Jamar Nutter, a sophomore guard. Riding through Seton Hall, man. Played at Seton Hall Prep. And now for the university, here is Krauser. Nutter's on him. Here is uh, they're really putting a blanket on Ramon from the outside. Ronald Ramon, a terrific uh, freshman guard from the Bronx, New York. Sensational three-point shooter, but he hasn't had a look today. You think with the combination of being the best three-point shooting team in the conference, plus all that strength inside, that gets some balance. Right? Can't get it to go. Tim Higgins blows the whistle. And he saw a push off. Gary Demetrius, the only guy from the Pittsburgh area on the Pittsburgh team. He's from Glenshaw, Pennsylvania. Huge influx from metropolitan New York. Guy given credit for that is Barry Rorison, who uh, was mentioned as a possible assistant when the St. John's job changed over. Seems to have tremendous influence, and he sure has delivered some players to Pittsburgh. It's not a bad recruiting place. The Big Apple as they get the ball down low. And Siobhan Troutman, who averages just under 13 points a game, is the uh, Panthers' best defender. Now a steal. Krauser on a breakaway, and he is grabbed wisely by Nutter. Good Dude, foul. Stop a two, yeah, good foul. Stop a sure two-point breakaway. Seton Hall with this four-point lead again without Donald Copeland there. Absolute bona fide marksman shooting 41% from three. He is home with flu symptoms and they're struggling. Connecticut next for Seton Hall. 
Monday night at home, and then uh, so they don't get much uh, much turnaround time here. And the uh, Panthers go on the road for their next two Big East matchups next Tuesday. They will play at St. John's, and then they go on the following Saturday at Connecticut. But people are raving about Josh Boone of Connecticut. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the silent assassin. Doesn't say much there, and almost no histrionics. He just beats you softly. Seton Hall went over uh, 10 minutes without a turnover, but they've turned the ball over the last two possessions, and it's now a 16-14 game. Well, Sarasoli's going to turn it over a little. He's going to make mistakes of commission. When you get a point guard that talented who has that flair and is fearless, you have to be careful. You have to tone it down carefully, not put that fire out, not put that confidence out. I'll tell you one thing, he's a very tough guy to guard, though, and Krauser's on him tight. Here's a ball down low to Whitney. Sarasoli gets the ball, it's not free, can't get it to work. A fight for the ball, it caroms off. And one of the uh, Panthers, and so the ball will be back inbounds to Seton Hall. There's Justin Sarasoli. We're coming to you from the University of Pittsburgh. Don Cricky with Bucky Waters, Big East basketball. And a playoff day for the Pittsburgh Steelers. In this town, they declared it uh, black and gold day, Mayor Murphy. Down low, ball rolls off, half with the rebound, and here comes Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, unless they get that turnover in the backcourt, they just come down, you know, just kind of dig, get in your face, and that's where it should go, right in there. Half has it roll off, rebound to Whitney. All moves the ball up quickly, Lang in the game. Sweet. Oh. Rejected rudely. Oh, that was an altered shot. In fact, return to sender. And now, coming off to the break, a pull up shot. Antonio Graves, who was a main producer, he hit the winning shot against Rutgers last Saturday and then added two free throws after that. Both teams are working so hard against the half court defense of the other. They really need to. To get some transition, do a little pressure, do a little double teaming, something to get some open looks. One of the things we'll see Sarah Soli do when he gets it, the thin freshman point guard who's getting the ball. No, he's not. They, he broke off, didn't go to him. Here's Allen putting up a shot. And uh, Sarah Soli standing free at the three point line. He can stroke from there. And Sarah Soli has an unbelievable burst to the basket. Homie he was uh, looking at Georgia and Georgia Tech. They recruited a nonstop. Coming from the weak side, get out of here. And now, Browser leading the break, setting up the shooter, and it's down. Don't miss another moment. Go to Cialis.com and find out what the Cialis Promise Program can mean for you. It's an offer you won't want to miss. Are you ready? Quick download on the all-new Hyundai Tucson. Loaded with features inside and out, like standard side impact and side curtain airbags. A standard electronic stability program that helps you maintain control. And a unique cargo space where every passenger seat folds flat. With award-winning quality backed by America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. The perfect for whatever, whenever Hyundai Tucson. Nicely equipped at just $17,499. Hyundai win. Tucson's the only SUV with six airbags and electronic stability program under 17.5. What are you holding now? A six-pack. A six-pack? Brilliant! What's it do? Well, I figured out how to carry six beers at the same time. Carry six beers at the same time? Brilliant! Let's drink them. You know, I've been thinking. It might not be the smartest idea to drink six beers at the same time. Don't drink six beers at the same time? Brilliant! Brilliant! Drink in a draft straight from the bottle and always enjoy it responsibly. Brilliant! another moment. Go to Cialis.com and find out what the Cialis Promise Program can mean for you. It's an offer you won't want to miss. Are you ready?
Cooper Tire is proud to be the official tire of the Big East Conference. Cooper Tires, don't give up a thing. to the sold-out Peterson Event Center, University of Pittsburgh. Last season, Pittsburgh started the season, you may recall, 18-0. Went on to a 31-win season, 31-5. and five. If we look at the Ameritrade scoreboard update, UMass leading George Washington 19-12. And Jamie Dixon, the coach of the uh, Pitt Panthers, he went from coach on the spot, succeeding Ben Holland, to coach of the year in short order. Well, it's interesting. Uh, there's been a run uh, in this neighborhood on Coach of the Year. Of course, uh, Jamie Dixon, his first year uh, winning it, and the uh, year before that was Lewis Orr uh, on the bench for the Seton Hall Pirates, and the year before that was Ben Howland here in Pittsburgh before departing to... Uh, to I'm sorry, I reversed that. Um, before departing to UCLA, Ben Howland was the previous Big East Coach of the Year. Of course, Jamie Dixon had been with him a long time at uh, Northern Arizona, and uh, even before that at Cal Santa Barbara. They preach defense. That's what you win with. Nothing travels like defense. And as a turnaround shot by Mark McCarroll rolls off, there is a whistle on the foul on Seton Hall. Again, Aaron Gray at the top of the key, the seven-footer, 275, making the good entry pass to create the inside game. He looked great in practice yesterday. Yes, he did, Don. Yes, Aaron did. Gray, terrific set of hands. He lost 30 pounds. He's all the way down to 280. That's like a, a wilting away to nothing. A deck on the on the Titanic, you know. But he's moving a lot better. Great pause. He's going to be a good one. He's a sophomore. McCarroll shooting free throws much better. He's been working on it. And it is now an 18-17 Seton Hall lead. McCarroll has six. Morris leads Seton Hall with seven. Sarah Soli has six. Loop down low. Whitney. Hard to get up in the air with three guys defending him nicely. And now the outside shot caroms off. Down with the rebound is the big man Aaron Gray. And a foul is called. Greg Grant Billmeyer. Call for the personal foul. A Bowie and Louie show way back in Jim Beheim's early successful career. He's been successful all the way. There's just segments. Good player. Knicks, Pacers. He could play some defense. Mm -hmm. Louis Orr, first team All American, led the Big East in scoring in 1980 at Syracuse. No nights off in this conference or afternoons. <laughs> They're the talking next. about how good it's going to be when these five new teams, uh, you know, like Bayheim said, I think uh, we're pretty good before they got here. Yeah. Yep. Before they get here, and they're all coming in next year, things like Cincinnati, Louisville, DePaul, Marquette, South oh. Florida. They go to 16 teams, which loses something, that kind of expansion. You don't get to play uh, everybody home and home, et cetera. And all the teams don't even get to the tournament. No. And, and of course, I think that's that's wrong. Only 12 will get to the Big East Championship at the Garden. Here's Siobhan oh, Troutman. What a move. Go to the basket. Troutman and uh, Gray playing well in there together. Right, right in front of uh, Dave Wanstead, who has to be thinking what a fine-looking tight end that lad would be. <laughs> Siobhan Troutman. Who's 6'7", but has an 86-inch wingspan. That's equivalent to 7'2". 10-3, Pittsburgh run. And that basket will go as the leaner is thro stroked down. And Allen will now go to the free throw line as we're tied at 20. 10-2 long, getting uh, Pittsburgh back in the lead briefly. Now Seton Hall with a chance to go back in front. John Allen's a captain, a really, really hard worker to 6'5". 6'5 kid from Coatesville, PA. I'm sure he's a little bit inspired uh, coming back to Pennsylvania. Here is Allen at the free throw line, and he has a four bounce shot. Go his way, and John Allen, a 79% free throw shooter, makes it a 21 20 game with 5.45 to play in the first half. Sweden Hall by a point. 
Here's the guy who is so hot from the outside who's not had a shot today. Ramon, not, not a clean look. Browser going hard. And he gets it to go, and the Panthers take back the lead. The leading scorer now with just uh, four points. That's his first field goal. Terrasoli, there's that burst and a beautiful move left to right hand and a zipper. Finger roll. Oh, I can't believe he got away with that, but uh, with Troutman in there. I mean, normally uh, Troutman force feeds you right back down your throat when yeah, you, you come in there, cute. You and the ball <laughs> get the check at the same time. Here's Krauser. There's Ramon, a quick shot. Oh, man. Born in the Dominican Republic, his dad was a top player professionally in uh, Brazil and Argentina. Went to All Hallows in New York City. Did Ronald Ramon, they really like him. Coming off a career game the last time out 21 points. He had five threes against Rutgers. One of those freshmen that you say can't miss. Here's a steal by Ronald Ramon. A man they call double R goes hard to the basket. His shot doesn't go no foul, but McCarroll working hard following the play. Slams it down and Pittsburgh down by six at one point is now elevated to a four point lead. Carroll has eight. All of a sudden, the Panthers have gotten in transition. Their athleticism has taken over. It really was, and I won't say it was ugly, but it was a difficult game here uh, for everybody to break those good half-court defenses. There's the last two plays with uh, double R nailing that one from uh, downtown. From the Bronx on the breakaway on the steal. And the trucking comes. Mark McCarroll, the senior from Queens, picks up the dirty work from the guy from the Bronx and Pittsburgh back in the lead. Twelve thousand five hundred. This is really a, a great facility, this Peterson Event Center, especially for on campus. Uh, I know a lot of the Big East arenas. You know, you share them with the hockey teams. Well, not this year, but Man, this is and the basketball, but. Uh, it's a, this is a spectacular facility and, and as we mentioned earlier recruits are really uh, they're taken with the with great facilities is my locker eight by ten does it have a jacuzzi <laughs> I'll sign coach flat screen TV J.R. Morris on the outside Allen pulls up Catch and shoot doesn't work and Demetrius rebounds and gets it to the man who quarterbacks the team Carl Krauser. Pirates staying with their man for man. Rattles out on Troutman. Here comes Sarah Soli running the break. He's crafty this freshman. Ball tipped out of bounds. It'll come back in bounds to the hall down by four. They've led by six. So a break in the action with three minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the first half. And Pittsburgh on the home floor leading 27 to 23. It doesn't take a degree in engineering to know that your car needs regular oil and filter changes. That's why we're ready in advance with brand names you trust. Castrol, Valvoline, Pennzoil, all in stock at ready-to-go low prices. So bring it on. We're ready in advance. For the best parts, people and price, we're ready in advance. Now open until 9 p.m. on Sundays. Give it to me, give it to me. I want you to taste the best pizza you've ever had. So I'm giving you one free. To celebrate Papa John's 21st anniversary, buy any large specialty pizza at regular menu price and get a large one-top pizza free. Taste our tomato sauce. We don't use paste. Taste the difference fresh cut vegetables make. And I want you to taste real meat top. Papa John's. Buy one, get one free for a limited time only. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. <laughs> Have you ever started a car from across the road? Given your backseat passengers a tan? Or driven a four-door like a sports car? Introducing the first ever G6 from Pontiac. European-inspired styling and a 200-horsepower V6, all starting around 21.3. It's time to get in on the action. Be the first. See your local Pontiac dealer today. just one now after
after another. Now is why Cablevision built Optimum, the most astonishing digital network in the nation. IO Interactive Optimum. Optimum Online Super High Speed Internet. Optimum Voice Flat Rate Unlimited Calling. Everything you ever wanted to see, hear, and say at the speed of, well, now. Welcome to now. We're back with Bucky Waters, Don Pricky, Big East Basketball, coming to you from the Peterson Event Center, University of Pittsburgh. Now let's take a look at the Hyundai Cool Facts. Pittsburgh seniors, Troutman, Demetrius McCarroll. Look at that record, 85% wins, or almost. They win here virtually all the time. And uh, Jamie Dixon, this is his 50th game as head coach. They come in 42 and 7 under him since he took over for Ben Howland. Well, under Barry Rorison's leadership, tapping from New York, they got some big ones coming in next year. A couple of sumo wrestlers, Don. Yeah, they got a Terrell Big, 6'8, 260 from Nanuet. Aptly uh, named, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Doyle Hudson, 6'8, 240 for a junior college player out of Tennessee. And, and Sam Young uh, from Hargrave, 6'3 guard. So they're reloading. Down low, Troutman with a good drop step move. He has six points. And it's a four point Pittsburgh lead with less than three minutes to go in the half. Allen forces a shot. Rebound comes off to Troutman. Hauser runs the break, but the hall does well to getting defenders back. Rouser looking to set up shooters. And the defensive board swept down by Sweet. Up court to Allen. Allen's killing them for some shots. Both teams taking better care of the ball than they have in the past. Seton Hall with only three turnovers and a, a major job of improvement in that area by the Panthers. Pittsburgh with just five turnovers. Four of them, however, by Krauser. So it is a 29-25 game still as Krauser brings it up. Sarah Soli slides by the pick. Stays with him. Here's Troutman. They double up well on him. A beautiful one by Siobhan Troutman, the big senior from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. The guy that uh, Jamie Dixon says that no one's been more valuable to pit basketball in the last five years than Siobhan Troutman. People on the floor. Sarah Soli with the behind the back pass that really started that off. Man, he's got the guts of a burglar. A fearless freshman he is. Watch this. Watch this. Whoops. <laughs> Wide open. See, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. You got to take those against Pittsburgh. You try to go in two more feet, and boy, does it get crowded. At the free throw line, Andre Sweet. A 77% free throw shooter rattles out. McCarroll got his third personal foul. He's the guy that fouled sweet. Nine team fouls on Seton Hall and on Pittsburgh. Nine team fouls. That hurts. Sweet misses two. Here come the Panthers. In the early field goal shooting, stellar for Pittsburgh, 50%. With Demetrius and Ramon on the wings, good shooters now, capable of sustaining the Panthers' lead as the best three-point shooting team in the league. And They're back small. I'm sorry, Don. Number six in the country, three-point shooting with 44%. Uh, Here's Ramon. And Sarah Soli fouls him. <laughs> yep. and Tim Higgins gives him a look like uh, so we don't need that. Timothy, I, Timothy said, son, I know you didn't mean that, but I'm going to call it anyway. He's talking to Art Highland, the head of the Big East officials, a former standout in the back line of Princeton, a former Princeton captain. He's talking, you know, these you watch these veteran officials, how good they are, how rough these games are. He said what really makes them great is they've seen everything a thousand times or ten thousand times. And what they do best, he said, is manage the game. Absolutely. Talk when they talk, shoot it down, calm it down. 
Tim Higgins was around shaking hands with the Seton Hall kids. Absolutely uh, uh, the demeanor of non-threatening. I want, I want the kids to play. I'm just here to, to make sure nothing breaks out. Ramon, a 6-1 freshman. Coming off his career high game, he played on uh, two national AAU championship teams in New York City. Ronald Ramon. And it's now a 34-25 game, the biggest lead for the Panthers. Big East basketball comes your way next Saturday at noon Eastern time from ESPN Plus as Rutgers coach Jerry Gary Waters and the Scout of Knights, led by their chef shooter Quincy Doobie, go against uh, Seton Hall in the one-two punch of Kelly Whitney and John Allen. Rutgers and Seton Hall battle for Garden State bragging rights next Saturday at noon Eastern from ESPN Plus. Only two seniors on this record, I mean on this uh, Seton Hall team, John Allen and Andre Sweet. So uh, Lewis Orr going a bit of a youth movement there. A really good offensive rebounding team. And again, I, I hate to keep going back to this. Uh, it's not an alibi, but Seton Hall struggling offensively. And we must mention again that Donald Copeland their very fine outside shooter, their best three-point shooter at 41%, did not make the trip. Yeah, Donald has the flu, so he's back home, a former standout from St. Anthony's, which has sent so many outstanding players to Seton Hall. Here's Sarasoli pulling up off the dribble. That's 6'5". Boy, he can look right over guys like Krauser, and he doesn't hesitate to do so. He had a total of one point against Syracuse, but he's got 10 already today. Coming up at halftime, a feature on the Boston College Eagles off to a school record best 13 and 0 start. The Big East Championship flashback. First half highlights and stats. Boston College uh, has not had a lot of kind words because of its departure from the Big East to the Atlantic Coast Conference next year. But boy, they went into Hartford, Connecticut and did it again. Al Skinner has just done a phenomenal job there. And they got another, in addition to Smith, this Dudley's a standout. Oh, yeah. Well, there, there are only four teams in the country still unbeaten. The Eagles are one of them, and you and you got to say, you know, why aren't they in the top five or six? But uh, not to be denied. They'll, they'll get there. Morris stroking the free throw, knocks it, uh, makes it a six-point game. Pittsburgh up. Game clock down to 46. About a 20 second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. They'll run it down. Get a down low look now as Tap gets it up and down with the left hand drop. Great hops, great skill. Now Whitney powering down low and he is called for a violation. Whitney not getting many touches. He's getting a little anxious. Um, uh, trying to force that one. There was plenty of time. Seton Hall really didn't need to, uh, to force that shot. He only has four field goal attempts. And for a guy averaging 13, uh, he needs more touches. And I, I think he's really uh, uh, pressing a little bit. Yeah, he had uh, 10 points. The only guy in double figures in the Hall's last game, the loss by 25 at Syracuse. Seton Hall starting out 0-2 in the Big East, but you've got to watch them because two years ago, they started 0-3 in the conference and came back to win 10 of their last 13. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Browser under control, wasn't out of control, pulled up, made the great feed. Best play he made all day. So a run in the latter part of the second half by Jamie Dixon's Panthers. They were down by six to Seton Hall, but they rally and take their biggest lead of the game. They have a 38-28 advantage at the half. They'll be coming back to the University of Pittsburgh in a moment. Hey, what's the problem? I don't know. It just died on me. OK, well, let's get you back into town. Oh, I appreciate it. Every vehicle had a maintenance program as good as BMW's. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Lease the 2005 BMW 525i for $449 a month, only through January 31st. 
six years, three national championships, five years, five national championships. A legacy of excellence, established more than 25 years ago, has elevated the Big East Conference to the very pinnacle of college basketball. And the best is yet to come. Golf Digest is going to Cure Your Slice Now and for free. And that's a guarantee. Introducing the breakthrough video, Cure Your Slice Now, and it's free with your paid subscription to Golf Digest magazine. In this video, top PGA instructor Chuck Cook shows you the seven key phases of the swing and gives you his proven method for better control and longer, straighter drives. And here's our guarantee. If Golf Digest and Cure Your Slice Now doesn't cure your slice and improve your game, cancel and keep the video free. Golf Digest is your source for golf. Every month in Golf Digest, you get easy-to-follow tips and instruction from the best teachers and players in golf. Information on the top equipment, the best places to play, thought-provoking commentary. You also get this removable Pocket Tips booklet. Call now. Use your credit card and get your first risk-free issue, Pocket Tips booklet, and video free. You get 11 more issues for only $19.77. If your game doesn't improve, cancel and keep the video booklet and magazine free. So call 800-543-6200. That's 800-543-6200. Call now. Cooper ZR 2XS Ultra High Performance Tire. Made to perform on the skid pad, the slalom, the track, and in the real world. Cooper Tires don't give up a thing. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. Halftime of the Pitt Panthers and the Pirates of Seton Hall. Don Crickey with Bucky Waters. As we look now at the ESPN Plus halftime report and a look at the hottest team, Boston College. Off to a 13-0 start. The best beginning to a basketball season in the school's history, Bucky. Coach Al Skinner has this team playing like a fine-tuned machine. Going from being unranked at the beginning of the season to a 17th national rank on the ESPN U.S. Today poll. Much of the Eagles success can be uh, can attributed to 6 7 250 pound power forward Craig Smith Smith like Jerome Bettis can be the most powerful post player in the nation combining that strength and explosive leaping ability. He also has a deft shooting touch from outside. He really can do it all. The kid from California brought the whole package to New England. And then you have outside shooter Jared Dudley. He's been a major key in some of the accomplishments of the Eagles this season. Yeah, they got that inside-outside combination. Dudley has taken some of the scoring load off Smith, averaging over 14 a game, and is the team's second leading rebounder. One of the best games to date for the second year in a row. They beat UConn in Hartford. He went for 17 points, seven boards, and three assists. Those two stars combined with talented point guard Lewis Hinnant running the show and role players like seven-foot Nate Dornacamp and pure shooter Sean Marshall in the big shots have Boston College thinking Big East Championship and a deep run into the March Madness. We'll be coming back with out of town scores, stats, and highlights after this. What am I? Am I a basketball player who's a psychology major? Or am I a psychology major who's a basketball player? You know, that's the thing about psychology. You tend to overanalyze everything. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. If you can't remember which full-size truck has the best-in-class interior space, best-in-class power, and the best-in-class 4x4 towing capacity, remember the Titan. 
And don't forget, $1,000 cash back or 2% financing at your Nissan dealer now. The full-size Nissan Titan. Unforgettable. Getting to the NBA wasn't easy for me. My career on Wall Street didn't come without its challenges. It takes total dedication. I had to work late and have faith. Eventually, I got my break. And my dedication paid off. It's about getting an opportunity to achieve. It's about getting a vibrant, well-rounded education. It's about value and responsibility. To be a good citizen. And always give back to the community. This is where I learned to be who I am. This is where I learned how to have a happy, meaningful, productive life. life. Where would we be without the hype? Remember when it was 600 million tax dollars to build a football stadium? A surprise. The cost is rising. A platform will add 55 million. A game porch, 66 million. A pedestrian tunnel, 30 million. And oh, the stadium gets 400 million in taxpayer subsidized bonds. Taxpayer cost? Hundreds of millions more. And climbing fast. Say no to a West Side Stadium. Attention, mesothelioma is a rare lung cancer linked to asbestos exposure. Workers in asbestos mills, shipyards, and heating and construction may be at risk for mesothelioma. Loved ones may suffer secondhand exposure from clothes, homes, or even cars. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, call now. We are standing by 24 hours a day to take your call in confidence. Call 1-800-784-1895. At the half, Pittsburgh with a late run takes a 10-point lead over Seton Hall. Now we take a look at the Ameritrade scoreboard. UMass and uh, George Washington. Uh, UMass continuing to lead that game by 10. A lot of Big East games getting ready to tip off uh, very shortly. Number seven, Syracuse, another terrific year going at Providence. Then later today, Rutgers plays at number 11, Connecticut. St. John's at Notre Dame. Georgetown plays at Villanova. I tell you, Georgetown's an improved team. So is Villanova. The Wildcats, there was some real serious injury problems. Yeah, and I had that game when St. John's really whipped uh, North Carolina State. And what a surprise that was. What a tribute to that program. They're coming through hard times, but that had to give them a lot of confidence. Now let's take a look at the Aeropostale Big East Championship flashback. The 2003 Big East Championship was a rematch from the previous year and the third straight trip for Pittsburgh. The Panthers were led by senior point guard Brandon Knight, whose 16 points and intensity on both ends of the floor helped Pittsburgh exact its revenge versus Connecticut from the prior year. Pitt prevailed 74-56, winning its first ever Big East Championship. This Big East Championship flashback has been brought to you by Aero Postel, providing scholarships through sponsorships. Next Big East Championship uh, coming up at Madison Square Garden in March. We'll be back with the uh, highlights of this first half and the stats in a moment. Have you ever started a car from across the road? Given your backseat passengers a tan? or driven a four-door like a sports car. Introducing the first ever G6 from Pontiac. European-inspired styling and a 200 horsepower V6, all starting around 21.3. It's time to get in on the action. Be the first. See your local Pontiac dealer today. If a relaxing moment turns into the right moment, will you be ready? can be with Cialis. Cialis is the only erectile dysfunction tablet clinically proven to both work fast and work up to 36 hours. 36 hours to relax and take your time. 36 hours to choose the moment that's right for you and your partner. Cialis is only for men healthy enough for sexual activity. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain or certain alpha blockers for prostate problems or high blood pressure, as this may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Don't drink alcohol in excess with Cialis. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. Erections lasting longer than four hours, though rare, require immediate medical help. Discuss your health status with your doctor and ask if Cialis is right for you. 36 Hour Cialis. When the moment is right, will you be ready? 
So what's this about our Guinness again? I've discovered that Guinness Draft has only 125 calories. Only 125 calories? Brilliant! What else have you been up to? I've invented this little book. It's black. You put women's phone numbers in it. A little black book? Brilliant! <coughs> uh, come here often. You can also use it as a coaster. A coaster? Brilliant! Brilliant! Guinness Draft has only 125 calories. Enjoy it responsibly. Brilliant! What's on your mind? In your head? In your heart? What will you find? What will it mean? For tomorrow? For forever? What will you be? Who will you be? How you begin to know? The University of Pittsburgh. Where would we be without the highlight? Would anyone remember the drive, the catch, or the tuck? Would anyone ever say, did you see that? ESPN has spent 25 years putting the spotlight on the highlight, and it's all right here in ESPN 25 The Book. 25 mind-bending, eye-popping, culture-morphing years of highlights. A tribute to the plays you remember and the people that brought them to you. Plus, for the first time ever, an exclusive DVD with over 30 classic Sports Center commercials. ESPN 25 The Book, available now. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center, University of Pittsburgh, where the Panthers, with a late rally in the first half, built their biggest lead, 38 to 28. Don Kriggy with Bucky Waters. The Panthers shot 54 percent in the first half. The Seton Hall Pirates with just 37 percent. Well, they just the first half was like running in mud, and then they finally got some uh, some tempo going to the Pittsburgh Panthers. But boy, this kid Sarah Soli was something. Ten points at the half. One for two from three, and of course, uh, uh, J.R. Morris with the other three-point shot. Only two for four, and the little guy, double R, stealing and running, and here's that power inside. Troutman, who we talked about at the top of the show, showing muscle. Watch this move down inside. Just a facial, an Andre Sweet with his strength. Here's Krauser, best play of the day. He's under control, picked the ball up in the lane, and found McCarroll. This just great play for a point guard, despite his five turnovers. Yeah, a lot of touches at the offensive end for the uh, Panthers, leading to good shots. We'll be back in a moment. Quick download on the all-new Hyundai Tucson. Loaded with features inside and out, like standard side impact and side curtain airbags, a standard electronic stability program that helps you maintain control, and a unique cargo space where every passenger seat folds flat, with award-winning quality backed by America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. The perfect from whatever, whenever Hyundai Tucson. Nicely equipped at just $17,499. Hyundai, win. Tucson's the only SUV with six airbags and electronic stability program under $17,500. Somewhere, there are bleachers waiting to be filled. There's a court waiting for players. There's a Cinderella story waiting to be written. Wherever your love of basketball takes you, chances are there's a Sitco on the way, fueling the greatest of American sports. Sitco, for the road ahead. Six years, three national championships, five years, five national championships, a legacy of excellence established more than 25 years ago has elevated the Big East Conference to the very pinnacle of college basketball and the best is yet to come. Let's go. I got one, want one, gotta get one, gotta have one. You gotta eat. <laughs> Checkers. Where'd you get it? Let me have it, gotta get it. Now you got it. Yeah. You gotta eat. Checkers. Well, all right. Cool, you got that. Unbelievable burgers are back. Bacon cheddar, chili cheese, or mushroom swish, just 99 cents. Can't beat them, gotta eat them. Unbelievable burgers, just 99 cents at Checkers. Yeah. Yeah. Got to eat. Give me that. You gotta eat. 
With IO Digital Cable Service, you can order on-demand movies instantly with the push of a button. Available now on demand on Channel 500. Experience the magic when Harry and his friends enter their third year at Hogwarts. Watch Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Order your movie anytime and it's yours for 24 hours. You can even pause, rewind, and fast forward. You can't do that with satellite. Order hit movies now on demand on Channel 500. If you have IO Digital Cable Service from Cablevision, you have on demand. Call 1-866-50-DIGITAL and get IO today. We're back at uh, the Peterson Athletic Center, event center, where the uh, Panthers went on an 18-8 run to close out the first half and take their biggest advantage of the game. Seton Hall led by as many as six One. in the first half. Clear difference in shooting, free throws, just uh, neither team uh, setting it on fire there. Three-point shooting is down, and that's because of defense. We talked about rebounding at the beginning of the game. And Pittsburgh was dominating there, 19 to 14. And uh, Seton Hall, as we mentioned, also Bucky, it should be noted, has out-rebounded its last 12 opponents, so that's doing some to out-rebound the Hall. One of the big mysteries in the first half, Don, was uh, Kelly Whitney. I mean, uh, 18 minutes, three total points, only five shots, and he was a very sorry one for four from the foul line. If uh, if the Pirates are going to come back in this game without Donald Copeland from the outside, Whitney's really got to pick it up. And for big guys, I know he's not getting many touches, but you know what? Big guys go get passes off the boards. There are the leading scores. The freshman Sarah Soli, top point producer, but tremendous balance for Pittsburgh. And the Panthers have 15 points off their bench. The Pirates had just two bench points. Everything for uh, because of the uh, Kelly Whitney uh, difficulty in the first half. Everything for Seton Hall came from the perimeter. And they call Troutman pushing off and the ball comes back over to Seton Hall as we're now in the first minute of the second half. Seton Hall coming in eight and five overall in the season 0 and two in the Big East. Panthers are 11 and two overall and one and one in conference play. Morris can't get it to work. Demetrius comes down with the rebound. Freshman point Ramon gets the ball up quickly and there's a collision as uh, Sarasoli crashes into Krauser and Sarasoli showing some displeasure as a uh, warned by the official Fran Connolly uh, that doesn't work here. Yeah <laughs> we can't lay it all on Kelly Whitney Grant Billmeyer who has had some great games for the Pirates was also only three minutes and uh, had three personal fouls. He is a non factor starting the second half. Into the high post. Here's Troutman. And a whistle stops play. Could have a foul on Bill Meyer. That's his fourth. Boy, talk about a cameo. All the way from New Jersey to uh, only had three minutes in the first half. He didn't make a minute in the second half. Part of the reason I think that uh, Seton Hall has gone to his own, at least on that set, was maybe to keep him around for a little while. But it didn't work. Troutman, good penetration through the foul. So Seton Hall will inbounds the ball as Yuri Dimitris, who's been quiet at the offensive end, uh, now picks up his third personal foul for Pittsburgh. Browser now and Sarah Soli trying to return the favor of facial defense. They're fun to watch. What a sophomore, what a freshman. They're going to see a lot of each other. They're going, to, they're going to get a blocking foul on Whitney, who picked off Krauser trying to defend. That's the second on Whitney. I think I can set a pick, Kelly Whitney. I think if I if I were Pittsburgh, I'd really try to bring Kelly Whitney more into two ball situations. He he really doesn't come up aggressively. He's not he's not that assertive in screens. Well, I talked to Kelly before the game, Bucky, and he said he expected to be double teamed, and the game plan was. If it's not there when he gets it down low to get it out fast and let a three point shooter have a try at it. No 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 I know he deserves a double team off. I'm, I mean on defense. He's a little reluctant to come up and and play hard off screens which means you can use him and uh, and get some nice looks. Oh, nice move. They're not switching on every screen either. They're staying with the guy fighting through the screen. Routman just a battering ram in there. 
They talk about him as a, you know, there's a guy named Sam Clancy that played basketball for Pitt years ago. Was a, never played a minute of football. Was a standout defensive lineman for the Browns. They think Trotman might have a shot for that roof. I would think so. Soft hands. Fearless. Tight end written all over him. He's already uh, earned a degree in communication, says Siobhan Trotman, a fifth-year senior. Ball inbounded, and uh, Sarah Soli using both hands nicely with a nice dish inside. Oh, he's sent back by Taft. Return to Sunda. Oh. And now John Allen finally gets it to roll his way. It's a nine-point game, Pittsburgh. A lot of time. A lot, a lot, a lot of time. The inside for Seton Hall's got to step up. It won't be Bill Meyer. He's on the bench with four. Ramon carefully watched. Three-point shot is his if he gets a moment open. And here is a dip shot inside. No good by Taft. Outlet to Allen on the right side is Morris. Allen gives it up, and Morris slams it down. And the Hall's back to within seven. Love that break. Just uh, John Allen, the captain, kept two on one, two on one, made the defender commit. The big thing, he was under control and made an easy pass. Nothing dazzling. Just a deuce. Thank you. Browser having trouble penetrating against the very quick Sarah Soli. And those long arms. Dimitris gives it up to Tap. That extra pass wins a lot of games. Great interior passing that time by the Panthers. Browser much more under control. Browser now signaling to the Oakland Zoo, the student section behind us, to get in it. Okay, they're in it about an hour and a half before the game starts. <laughs> they're tired by the time. Actually, they've been wanting to get in it for a long time, and their Panthers really haven't given them a lot to cheer about. Whitney. Good move by Whitney. Looked outside, then jumping quickly gets it over the long reach of Chris Tapp. Kelly Whitney with five. I'm surprised Taft let him get away with that, having picked up his dribble. He just kind of relaxed. Whitney's a force. You've got to stay right in his face. Sarah Soli, I tell you, he's a remarkably quick. And Krauser makes a terrific move and beats him off the baseline on a reverse. Nine-point Pittsburgh lead. Now Krauser steps the ball away, and it'll be inbounds to Seton Hall. Hey, rookie. That extra dribble, Sarasoli's got to respect Krauser defensively. Nice pass. Demetrius underneath. Taft stuffs. That's the thing the Oakland Zoo is looking for. Stay with us. This is getting really interesting. It's the 21st century. Trade like it with Ameritrade. 21st century technology gives you an edge so you can work smarter. On the new Ameritrade website, built for traders by traders, you'll get tools like Quotescope and Command Center screen. You'll have your finger on the pulse so you can find and seize potential opportunities in any market. All for only $10.99 per trade. Sign up for Ameritrade today and get 30 commission-free internet equity trades. Innovative technology makes you smarter. It's the 21st century. Trade like it. Call 888-303-9778 today or go to Ameritrade.com slash start. Hey, what's the problem? I don't know. It just died on me. OK, well, let's get you back into town. Oh, I appreciate it. If only every vehicle had a maintenance program as good as BMW's. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Lease the 2005 BMW 525i for $449 a month, only through January 31st. The 
It doesn't take a degree in engineering to know that your car needs regular oil and filter changes. That's why we're ready in advance with brand names you trust. Castrol, Valvoline, Pennzoil, all in stock at ready-to-go low prices. So bring it on. We're ready in advance. For the best parts, people and brass, we're ready in advance. Now open until 9 p.m. on Sundays. The Pitt Panthers, defending regular season Big East champions, led by 10 at the half, lead by 9 now. The best seats for every event, no tickets required. It only happens in one place, only Vegas. Inbounds, John Allen goes to the freshman Sarah Soli. At 6'5", he's got a height advantage on Krauser. Keep trying to pick Krauser off, setting screens. the hall obviously Bucky looking to go low trying to get it to Whitney it's obvious uh, coming out of that timeout where Lewis R wanted that ball to go and Whitney's open they got to get it to him that clock winding down so they had to throw up a uh, hope shot missed it all and here come the uh, Panthers 31 and 5 was their record a season ago. They're uh, one of five teams who's gone to the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament out of the Pitt Panthers the last five years in succession. A tremendous run. Uh, people feel like Root Canal coming to Pittsburgh over the last several years. The defense, this is a young team on the perimeter, not as tough defensively as they were last year. My goodness. Allen goes hard. He's rejected. Ramon to Krauser. A dish to Trumpman. Basket goes, and he'll go to the line. Lewis Orr going to take another 30 second. I, I don't know if there's a problem, but Kelly Whitney is a non factor. Uh, he's getting his hands on balls, and, and I, I just don't know if he's discouraged or what, but he is out of this one. Well, Whitney so far he is uh, just five points. One of four from the free throw line. Who does the bottle work again? Well, I fill it with authentic Guinness draft. Yes. So we can walk outside. Yes. Go down to the Glen. Yes. And drink it. Drink beer at a picnic. Brilliant. What will you think of next? You know the way you call your mum. Yes. Well, I've created a device that lets you talk to her. Brilliant! 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 Guinness Draft, straight from the bottle. Enjoy it everywhere. Brilliant! College basketball fans, get ready for the 2005 Big East Women's Basketball Championship. March 5th through the 8th at the Hartford Civic Center in Hartford, Connecticut. See all 12 Big East Women's Basketball teams battle for the Big East Championship Tournament title. For tickets and more information, call 860-525-4500. That's 860-525-4500. Or log on to Ticketmaster.com. Have you ever started a car from across the road? Given your backseat passengers a tan? Or driven a four-door like a sports car? Introducing the first ever G6 from Pontiac. European-inspired styling and a 200-horsepower V6, all starting around 21.3. It's time to get in on the action. Be the first. See your local Pontiac dealer today. Cooper Tire is proud to be the official tire of the Big East Conference. Cooper Tires, don't give up a thing. Look at the uh, Pittsburgh bench huddling around coach Jamie Dixon. This game was tied at 20 all with just under six minutes to play in the first half. Since then, Pittsburgh has outscored Seton Hall 25 to 14. And a lot of it's come from the bench, Don. 15 for Jamie Dixon's Panthers, only two off the bench for Seton Hall. That's a telling stat. Three-point shooting virtually even, boards virtually even. Sarah Soli's been well defended, the freshman guard. Now he gets it on the outside. Quick shot, he dishes off. Down here's Whitney. 
Rolls off. And the guard, Krauser, rebounds. Ten men running. Rolls off, and he doesn't follow. Hey, there's not a lot of good looks out here from the arc, Bucky. They're uh -huh. defending that. It's a big year, a 20th anniversary year of the season that uh, the Big East sent three of teams to the Final Four. Villanova, Georgetown, St. John's, of course, that was the year that Villanova played the miracle game, the near-perfect game beating Georgetown at Lexington, Kentucky. How many fans out there like feel like uh, I do? That seems like that was just yesterday. You were there. <laughs> just yesterday. Speaking of Georgetown, though, it's uh, nice to see John Thompson coming back and uh, resuscitating the Hoyas. A couple of impressive inform performances recently. Hey, everybody you talk to talks about how improved Georgetown is. Rodman launches. He now has 13. And the Panthers have opened up a 14-point lead. You know, it's, when the ball's going in, John Allen. it's amazing what it does for your defense. Puts adrenaline in those legs, and uh, it just, uh, they work together, either inversely or uh, together, but uh, there's definitely a correlation. Right now, Pittsburgh playing very assertive defense and forcing everything. Ball knocked away, Seton Hall breaking three on two as Nutter gets it across court. <laughs> Allen puts it up. And gets it down to the hall, capitalizes on a turnover, and John Allen now with 11 points. Well, that's the important thing there is they're getting out in transition. The Pittsburgh half court defense is a bear, and uh, every time they get that chance to run, they look like a guy just getting out of jail. Here's another one. Breakaway. And slammed up and down. All of a sudden, the hall is jump started by some good defense, and Lewis Soares out there. Pushing players, slapping them. He's a happy guy as his team is on a 6-0 run. And they're back to within eight. Big East basketball comes your way next Sunday at noon Eastern time from ESPN Plus as the Fighting Irish, led by the backcourt duo of Chris Thomas and Chris Quinn, go to Washington for a conference showdown against Brandon Bowman and the Georgetown Hoyas. That's Notre Dame versus Georgetown next Sunday at noon Eastern from ESPN Plus. We, uh, of course, it's a big day. The Jets and the Steelers in a playoff game later today at Heinz Field. We just had a Chad Pennington jersey sighting. There is a Jet jersey in the building. <laughs> a lot of black and gold. I'm going out there. Coach Cower left me a ticket. We both went to North Carolina State. That guy's not going. He too, might. too cold out there. Too cold. He's got his Roethlisberger shirt on. I, I got my Nanook of the North uh, uniform to... I'll tell you go to that game. I'm looking forward to it. You do well if you had the Roethlisberger jersey con concession in this town. Yeah, I'd be I'd be really distinctive, like with 32,000 others. <laughs> At least 32,000. Broadman is doubled up on. The Hall fighting hard for possessions. They were down by 14 in the second half, trailed by 10 at the half, after leading by as many as six in the first half. Lewis Orr directing his defense. 12 minutes, 7 seconds, an enormous amount of time. The thing that works against that is the stat I just pointed out. Seton Hall getting nothing from its bench in terms of scoring, and uh, the Panthers have uh, just been very impressive coming off the rail. Well, Seton Hall still adjusting to the graduation of Andre Barrett, who was really one of the best point guards, in, and the Big East has had just an no array question. of great point guards, but he was one of the best ever. Sarah Soli is good, but Barrett was very special. Well, Sarah Soli, uh, the upside on him is uh, enormous. Here's a 6-5 with a lot of game right now. This guy gets in the weight room, puts on about 20 pounds, sees this whole thing a few times around. You're looking at, looking at an All-American possibility. Where is she? She's slipping into something more comfortable. That's my girl. The redesigned 2005 Nissan Altima with a comfortable new interior. 
Now, with 1500 cash back or 1% financing, it's so easy for you to say, I do. Somewhere, there are bleachers waiting to be filled. There's a court waiting for players. There's a Cinderella story waiting to be written. Wherever your love of basketball takes you, chances are there's a Sitco on the way, fueling the greatest of American sports. Sitco, for the road ahead. Introducing 7-Up Plus, a revolutionary combination of 7-Up, fruit juice, calcium, vitamin C, and a refreshing berry flavor. Thank you. For those who know what's good for them, and aren't afraid to get it. Look, our lunch has arrived. And he brought grapes. <laughs> Seven Up Plus. When you add it all up, the only way to go is up. Where would we be without the highlight? Would anyone remember the drive, the catch, or the tuck? Would anyone ever say, did you see that? ESPN has spent 25 years putting the spotlight on the highlight. And it's all right here in ESPN 25 The Book. 25 mind-bending, eye-popping, culture-morphing years of highlights. A tribute to the plays you remember and the people who brought them to you. Plus, for the first time ever, an exclusive DVD with over 30 classic Sports Center commercials. ESPN 25 The Book. Available now. We're back to the University of Pittsburgh. Yeah, the Panthers are now leading the game 48 to 40. As we take a look now at the Guinness Game Summary. There Rebounding again, virtually even. This is the, the one area both coaches were pointing to. Right now, it's simply a matter of Pittsburgh shooting better, getting better looks, and the fact that uh, the inside high percentage shooting that Kelly Whitney normally produces has not existed today. Well, they've doubled up on Whitney. A lot of emphasis going on defending him. Here's an offensive rebound putting back up. And there's going to be a foul call down low on the Panthers. Lewis are really putting, putting some touches, putting some words on Whitney, just trying to rally this guy uh, to really step up and take over that lane. Now, it's not easy uh, against the University of Pittsburgh, but Aaron Gray is in there now, just a sophomore, without a great deal of experience. Here is Nutter, a sophomore, but a first-year player. Set out last year for Seton Hall. Now Whitney going one-on-one -on -one with Gray. And Whitney's let his feet and is called for a travel. A turnover sends the ball to the Panthers. Oh, just looking at his face. It's just one of those days. Hit earlier, Antonio Gray's uh, personal foul was his fourth. So he has a problem. Browser picked up on the outside. Down low he goes to Gray, who can't get it up and down, but he was fouled on the play. The foul would be on uh, J.R. Morris. Well, the good news for Seton Hall fans is that Kelly Whitney just really stepped up on that press that time and drove Krauser out. Good job. There he is all the way out there forcing Krauser. But Krauser picks up the dribble, gets in inside, draws the foul. He is, Krauser just playing so much more like a pass first point guard as opposed to a shoot voice point guard. He can do it. Yeah, he's easy. trying too hard to take over. Uh, for his missing compadres as far as offense from last year. This is a different team. Julius Page and uh, Jerron Brown now playing for the Pittsburgh Hard Hats, an ABA team, local professional team. Almost a steal by Ronald Ramon. RR, real crowd favorite here in Pittsburgh. Double R, they call him. Here's a long shot. Sounds like a name of a ranch or something. <laughs> And uh, Jarrar Nutter hits on the outside. Well, Ramon's one of those energizer bunnies with a great stroke. It's a six-point game, so the Hall is inched in. Getting back in the game, down by 14. They trail by six. Gray has the ball slapped around. He inbounds to Seton Hall. Just tap for Gray. He, the big guy has just got to be a little more assertive. They got him the ball on the box. It was indecisive. And uh, 
going to the bench now very discouraged. He had a wonderful opportunity to put a class A move on there and just couldn't pull it off. And he was the star of the practice yesterday. They had a very intense scrimmage to the Pitt Panthers in this building. Seton Hall didn't work out here. Flew in last night from New Jersey. Anybody that's coached any length of time has got those guys that were world beaters in practice and from 7.30 to 8 when they're warming up they were great and yeah. when the house lights went down they <laughs> just didn't happen. You guys that eat, ride and warm up. <laughs> That's life. Doesn't make them bad people. Oh. Then you got the other guys who give you nothing in practice. Could care less about being there. We call them gamers. And boy. Light it up. Sweet with a quick move, denies the uh, entry pass. I, I really hate to be picking on Whitney, but he had a nice little jump shot, rolled out. He's not following his shots. I mean, if there's ever a day when he knows it's probably not going down, I gotta go get it back. Today's the day. Well, he'll, he'll accept a challenge after the 25 point loss to Syracuse. Coach Orr was pretty adamant to uh, criticizing his team and the undertone of uh, some people seem to be afraid out there. And Kelly Whitney said, I'm not afraid of anybody. I know who's afraid out there, but it wasn't me. We didn't play well. Here's a down low pass to Taft who banks it in. And it's back to an eight point lead for the Panthers. Nutter pulls up. Good look off the dribble. Doesn't go. Here comes Krauser. Gonna show his stuff. Back the other way. Didn't need that shot. No force. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. It's all right. He has definitely been the leader with the ball out there for the after the first seven eight minutes. He's, he has he has played his role well. Sweet. <laughs> going to keep firing threes if somebody gets it right, and Andre Sweet just did. He now has uh, put up the ball down by five as they are on a. 12 to 3 run is Seton Hall after trailing by 14. So the Pirates, who consider this a critically important game to get their season righted in the conference after a one point loss to Notre Dame in the conference opener and a 25 point loss at Syracuse a week ago, needing a win badly. And uh, Pitt has an unbelievable record in this building, but they've lost their last two here. They're definitely vulnerable, and there's no quit in the Seton Hall Pirates. And then they get. Just enough time to go home, get a clean uniform, and take on Connecticut. So th this is looms very large in the confidence for Lewis Orr and his young team. We look now at the Advanced Auto Parts upcoming schedule for Seton Hall for Lewis Orr and his staff of Brian Nash, Billy Garrett, John Dunn, and George Jackson. This is what they have ahead, including uh, Connecticut with another terrific team. And the Pitt Panthers under Coach Dixon and they have uh, really looking to get back on that home court winning streak. If it wasn't for that uh, overtime win at Rutgers, they'd be looking at a three game losing streak. And two of them here. Amazing. Ball slapped inside court. A whistle stops play. And giving due credit to all these guys that helped put these teams on the floor. You talked about Barry Rawson. The other assistants for Jamie Dixon are Joe Lombardi and Pat Sandel. As Coach Dixon, who's from uh, West Hollywood, California, played collegially at TCU. There's the Pitt Panthers, what they have coming up. They're at St. John's on Tuesday, at Connecticut, and Syracuse comes in. They throw line's been an adventure for both teams today. Shaquille O'Neal Invitational. And now they're starting to brick uh, three point shots, and as Sarah Silda gets the rebound and starts up court, he is fouled on the play by DeGroat. John DeGroat. Good look by DeGroat. Gets iron. Look at that. Sarah Soli, the freshman, trying to come out of there with a behind the back dribble. That's a little too cute, son. When you're in that kind of traffic, pick it up, hit the outlet, man. Sarah you know Soli. The key, the key to a guy like that, though, is, is uh, not taking away that confidence and zeal. Just kind of peel away a little bit at a time, but don't put out the fire. He's, he's special. 
And that is uh, Justin Saraceli's first point of the second half. He had uh, 10 points in the first half on four of six shooting. He's been denied, though. They put a lot of attention on defending him. He gets two that roll his way. And the lead is down to three. So a Panther lead that was 14, and they look like they may be en route to a blowout. And they did beat Seton Hall by 32 points the last time they played here. The last time they played overall was last February at Continental Airlines Arena. And Seton Hall won that, beating Pitt by a point in double overtime and a pair of free throws. Andre Barrett hit him. Kelly Whitney really working down on the block now. I'm impressed. Big guys sometimes don't do that when the ball's not going in for them and they're not getting touched. Yeah. Reject by Whitney of Troutman. Return to send there, and the Pirates are running. Down by three. They hit from the arc. They'll tie it up. Whitney gets it out to Morris. He forces a shot. Rebound at the offensive end by Sweet. And a foul is called on Pitt. Oh, momentum. Oh, Mo's now wearing a blue jersey. So Seton Hall showing a lot of heart here on the road, down by 14 and seemingly gone. All of a sudden, they're back in position to possibly take the lead. So what's this about our Guinness again? I've discovered that Guinness Draft has only 125 calories. Only 125 calories? Brilliant! What else have you been up to? I've invented this little book. It's black. You put women's phone numbers in it. A little black book? Brilliant! <coughs> uh, come here often. You can also use it as a coaster. A coaster? Brilliant! Brilliant! Guinness Draft has only 125 calories. Enjoy it responsibly. Brilliant! Hey, what's the problem? I don't know. It just died on me. OK, well, let's get you back into town. Oh, I appreciate it. If only every vehicle had a maintenance program as good as BMW's. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Lease the 2005 BMW 525i for $449. Where would we be without the highlight? Would anyone remember the drive, the catch, or the tuck? Would anyone ever say, did you see that? ESPN has spent 25 years putting the spotlight on the highlight. And it's all right here in ESPN 25 The Book. 25 mind-bending, eye-popping, culture-morphing years of highlights. A tribute to the plays you remember and the people that brought them to you. Plus, for the first time ever, an exclusive DVD with over 30 classic Sports Center commercials. ESPN 25 The Book. Available now. to fly. This is Don Cricky with Bucky Waters back at the Peterson Event Center, University of Pittsburgh, as we take a look now at our Pontiac game-changing performance. Seton Hall on the ropes, being outscored from the bench, all of a sudden turns up the defense, gets out in the break, and they are running, and it has inspired them. J.R. Morris with a steal and going. The center of all that, though, is the brilliant young freshman guard, Justin Sarasoli, who seems to have a hand on everything going good. The foul situation, if you're playing chess with him, Pitt has committed nine, and Seton Hall eight, so we're close to the double bonus. Whitney rejected on a putback, and here is a foul inside, as Seton Hall will not be denied. Uh, it's expensive, missing the front end of a one-and-one. One. Both teams... Over the limb, in fact, Pittsburgh now has 10 team fouls, so Seton Hall is shooting two on every foul. Watch the blue crash the boards. Actually, the white had a hand, couldn't pull it down. Boy, Whitney again getting rejected, tapped underneath. People are going to that foul line more and more as we look at the foul trouble across both teams. Graves for four, Demetrius three, Ramon three, McCarroll three, Billmeyer four. Sarasoli three and Allen three. So I don't know what he's smiling about. He's 
He's thinking something good with seven and a half minutes to go here. Only down three. Seton Hall on a 14 to three run over the last six minutes and 40 seconds. And they haven't looked that good doing it. Well, there are only nine of 18 in the free throw line. It is uh, 10 of 18. It is now a one point game. The Oakland Zoo is wrestling behind us, but they're uh, really been subdued today. Seton Hall has done a lot to take the fire out of this home court crowd. 15 to 3 run for Seton Hall. A big trip for the Panthers now. They need a hit. Just solid man for man. Keep him in front of you. Looking for something down low. Here's Krauser penetrating, dishing. Troutman fights his way up. Goes over the wrong side of the board. Woo. But another good penetration by Krauser. Got in the lane, under control, made a good pass. One of the few times that Troutman hasn't been able to convert. So here comes Seton Hall looking to take the lead, something they've not had since the six minute mark, six minutes into the first half where they led 21 to 20. No question, uh, J.R. Andre Sweet wanted it badly, and he got it. And Seton Hall has come back from 14 points down to lead the game. 17 to 3 run. Browser working Sarah Soli. Are they going to get Sarah Soli? They are. Everybody's standing for Pitt watching Krauser dribble, not really knowing where to go. Tell you one thing, I don't know how good this Sarasota is going to be, but it's going to be really good. He's coming out now to the foul call. And he's got uh, unbelievable skills. Well, at 6.24 to go, Sarasoli goes to the bench. We need to kind of mark this and see. Uh, What's the situation yields without him in there for the Pirates? Getting some encouragement on the sideline from the assistant coach. He's very disappointed in committing the foul. But the uh, free throw is no good. How oh, those front end misses are awfully expensive. It costs you a possible two shots in possession. Gets the roll. That is the senior captain, John Allen, from Coltsville, Pennsylvania. And Seton Hall leads 54 to 51. Allen has 13. Ball will come back inbounds to the Pitt Panthers. Watch the penetration, spin move, off the iron. Ooh, the iron was kind. Taft has been quiet, a lot of defense, ball knocked around. And do you do? We have a uh, timeout signal for us. Seton Hall grabbed the ball, the Hall in an 18 to three run. This Panther crowd just absolutely uh, numb. And the Oakland Zoo behind us is very tame at this point. 540 left to play in the game. Still a long way to go as we take now time for the Cialis memorable moment. Uh, how will we remember this? The red lane of the Panthers. <laughs> That's uh, when they started to think seriously about breakaway rims. Oh my, that's always a dangerous play though. That glass shattering. However, we don't see that much anymore. It's not because the guys are any smaller than Jerome Lane. I think technology yeah. has caught up. State of the art technology makes them uh, not even Shaq can break them now. There's what it looks like. Breakaway rims, they you hit them too hard, they'll break down. And you can snap them back up. Jamar Nutter 
Bringing up a shooter. Here's Whitney, and down low they go to Kelly Whitney, and he's up and down on Seton Hall with a really stirring comeback down by 14, now advances and moves to a five-point lead. Jamar Nutter doing an excellent job for Sarah Soli off the bench, a 6'2 sophomore from Bloomfield, New Jersey. Really is a good defender. And Oh, my. Now you have a foul called on Krauser after Seton Hall stole the ball. Krauser dove to get it, got the arm, a second personal foul. So Jamie Dixon, uh, he's about out of patience with a team that has lost its previous two home games. Well, they've stopped running their stuff, Don. It's, it's kind of Krauser just prowling around looking for something <laughs> to make things happen, and they've just stopped running their half-court offense. And uh, to uh, Seton Hall's credit, they're leaving there, double-teaming, creating havoc. And uh, goodness knows they're even hitting free throws now. Lewis Orr, he's every uh, every tick of the clock is an eternity for him. I mean, he's looking at possibly one of the biggest comeback wins ever for Seton Hall. Not a good sign for Pitt. Seton Hall starting to hit those free throws. They were horrendous. They were nine for 18 till just a minute ago. I'm not sure where they are now, but clearly this has been part of the surge. We talked about how Seton Hall two years ago started 0-3 in the conference, then won 10 of its last 13 conference games. And this could jumpstart the Hall to a, a big, big East regular season if they can get out of Pitt with a win. Five, four minutes and 50 seconds left to play. Here is Troutman down low. He's going to go up. He gets it down. And finally, they get something at the offensive end, and they cut the lead to 58 to 53. And Troutman goes to the free throw line. He scored 15. Both teams now are in the double bonus. Here's Troutman, just who's had five double doubles this year. Just power. Just he's the Jerome Bettis of the ball in the lane. I mean, get on the bus, Panthers. Whitney gets his third personal foul. He had a huge game against South Carolina. Nine for 11 from the floor for 20 points and 12 boards against a very, very good South Carolina team in the Southeast Conference. And Troutman's the guy that uh, Dixon said there's no player more valuable than Troutman in the last five years of good basketball. He bring the Panthers back in within four now, 58-54, with 16 points for Troutman. it up a steal by Troutman here comes Krauser boy there's, it's really tough to get an open look from the outside picked up and in by Tapp a two point game so Seton Hall down by 14 then up by 7 now sees its lead cut to 2 good crisp passing that time by Pittsburgh good interior passing and a great athletic move Four minutes to play. Both teams now with a double bonus to Allen. Up and down, and Seton Hall gets back on the board and extends now to a four-point lead. Again, we've mentioned uh, how young this Seton Hall team is, but it's Captain Senior John Allen stepping up right now. And Andre Sweet, the two seniors, have been very instrumental in this Seton Hall surge. Ramon, somebody got a piece of it, but the uh, Panthers keep the ball, getting the offensive board. Browser looking to go to the rack. He's fouled by John Allen. At least Allen is accepting responsibility, put his hand up. So Pittsburgh looking to make a run after they lost a big lead, a 14-point lead they lost. 18 to go. This is going down to the final horn, or maybe longer. I just trying to quick download on the all-new Hyundai Tucson, loaded with features inside and out, like standard side impact and side curtain airbags, a standard electronic stability program that helps you maintain control, and a unique cargo space where every passenger seat folds flat, with award-winning quality backed by America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. The perfect for whatever, whenever Hyundai Tucson. Nicely equipped at just $17,499. Hyundai win. Tucson's the only SUV with six airbags and electronic stability program under 17.5. Damn 
Life's auto parts. No matter when or where. Advance auto parts. With Emma's waiting there. Around these parts. Trouble doesn't stand a chance. For the best parts. People at the price. We're ready in advance. Yeah, bring it on. Six years, three national championships, five years, five national championships, a legacy of excellence established more than 25 years ago has elevated the Big East Conference to the very pinnacle of college basketball and the best is yet to come. Where would we be without the highlight? Would anyone remember the drive, the catch, or the tuck? Would anyone ever say, did you see that? ESPN has spent 25 years putting the spotlight on the highlight, and it's all right here in ESPN 25 The Book. 25 mind-bending, eye-popping, culture-morphing years of highlights. A tribute to the plays you remember and the people who brought them to you. Plus, for the first time ever, an exclusive DVD with over 30 classic Sports Center commercials. ESPN 25 The Book, available now. Brought to you by BMW and the BMW 3 Series with all-wheel drive. By Cooper Tires, proud to be the official tire of the Big East Conference. Cooper Tires don't give up a thing. And by Guinness Draft Stout, drink responsibly. Brilliant. A remarkable game. Seton Hall led in the first half by six. Trailed at halftime by ten to Pitt. Pitt extended to a 14-point lead in the second half. And then Seton Hall with a 22 to 3 scoring rally came back, took a seven point lead. And now it is a four point advantage for Seton Hall, but at the line for Pittsburgh is point guard Carl Krauser, who hits the first. He's their best free throw shooter at 74%. Pitt shoots only 64 on the season, and, but they are now 11 for 21 today. So this has helped uh, to keep Seton Hall in the game, and now they're paying for it. Kind of ironic, Bucky, that uh, Pittsburgh is the number one three-point shooting team, almost 44 percent in the Big East, but is only hitting 64 percent team as free throws. Well, that's because nobody guards him at the foul line. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I somebody, need somebody in your I face. No, you answer that one, and uh, you're a psychologist or a psychiatrist. A little beach. Here is the throw down low, and that is sweet, rejected by Troutman. People hitting the deck. Ramon comes up with the ball. Leads to Krauser. Quick kick out. Graves, who hit a big three. Last time out. Can't get it to go, but Taft sneaks in unblocked and tips it in. Chris has Taft. Yeah, ran the floor. He had three blue jerseys all around him, but the offensive rebound was his. What an athlete. This is something. A one-point game. Seton Hall with the ball in the lead. Allen goes up. Rebound to Taft. Here come the Panthers looking to take back the lead. He went to that Oakland Zoo to a. They're back in it. Troutman gets it to go. Pittsburgh leads, and Troutman goes to the line. He has 18. Get on the bus, Pittsburgh. Troutman at both ends of the floor, but he absolutely muscled and willed that ball in over Kelly Whitney. Watch his feet. Good feet down inside by Double R Ramon. Watch it. Just good defensive position. The little pump fake, and he takes it right up the nostrils. Had a look That's at our power. BMW ultimate drive of the game as the Troutman's at the free throw line. He drops it and. Uh, after leading by 14 in the second half, trailing by seven, now Pittsburgh has come back to take a two-point lead. Robin leads all scores with 19. Adam leads Seton Hall with 15. Sarah Solvin, dang, and Seton Hall goes to the four. The freshman carries the day, at least for the moment. He has 15. That Oakland Zoo was about to come right over our backs with that brief pit lead, and uh, Sarah Soli, <laughs> the freshman with ice water in his veins, Puts them back on top. What a game. It's a classic Big East game and a long way from over. We could be going to extra time. Browser. 
will be a player possession call, and there is collisions inside, and Crowder will not be denied. He is 21. He goes to the line. And with that shot, he gave Jamie Dixon's Panthers the lead back. Sarasoli with the dribble, just squares up. Pitt let him loose. That's one guy you can't let loose. Look at down. Sarasoli strips him. Now Trotman going back in the middle. Who did they call a foul on? Whitney's out. That's his fifth bucky. I thought it was. I thought it was going to be on uh, on Sarasoli, and that would have been his fifth. So in this chess game now with the serious foul problem, again, it points toward Pittsburgh, who's had a much better day from their bench. The depth has been much more impressive than has Seton Hall. But you know what? Nothing in this game has made a lot of sense so no. far. So throw out the logic. And in this uh, chess game, uh, Seton Hall's king just went out, Kelly Whitney. And they bring in Bill Meyer, who's playing with four personal fouls. So they could get small real quick. He goes out. Well, this is the time. This is the time for your seniors to step up. John Allen, who has really come through in the clutch here, and of course, uh, Trotman at the line. Not quiet, didn't it? He is a 67% uh, free throw shooter. And Pittsburgh takes back a two point lead. Here's Sarah Soli. A thin freshman afraid of nothing. He gets a look. He's going to let it go from the three point arc. Arasoli on the far flank. Allen has a stolen from him. Troutman going down court. He's fouled by Allen. So Allen gives the Hall problems at both ends. He turns it over, then he fouls on the breakaway by the Panthers. Great defense by Pittsburgh that time. That is his fourth foul, but just great team defense. Keeping the ball in front of him, making him pick up the dribble, and then like this zoo behind us, boy, it was frenzy feeding. The entire pit defense collapsed on that ball, jarred it loose, and the Panthers were running. And Troutman having one of his finest hours as a Pitt Panther of 22 points. 67% free throw shooter coming into this game. That dip of his young players do not emulate that. I too many moving parts. Absolutely, Don. Uh, you know, he, that's not one you want to <laughs> try to be like. <laughs> Maybe you could spin the ball backwards like they do also. That's that always helps. Three point lead and a timeout of signal for. With 57 and a half seconds left to play. And Pittsburgh in this back and forth game holds to a three point lead. And it's time now to take a look at the Ameritrade scoreboard. Syracuse and Providence having had a, in Providence, a two point lead for Syracuse. Cincinnati and Louisville, two future Big East members going at it. There is uh, two powers in the uh, Atlantic Coast Conference. North Carolina playing at Wake Forest. And Nebraska off to a quick lead on uh, ninth ranked Texas. Rankings, rankings, and uh, and polls really haven't meant much until until right now. We're starting into league play. In the early part of the season, a lot of the teams don't stay in hotels. They stay in kennels. So records and points really don't mean much. Now it's neighborhood. It's uh, it's the friendly the friendly competition where everybody knows what you're going to do and you better do it well. Well, we got to do something well down the stretch run here. Terrific uh, game of Big East basketball. Our yeah, it's not just the Oakland Zoo. The guys here in the thousand-dollar seats next to us, they're in it too. Some really, some really uh, old cheerleaders, but they're into it. There's a lot of distinguished Pitt alums like uh, John Connemikes, distinguished broadcaster for many years with Hearst. Seton Hall Different out of guys, Pitt football Seton Hall basketball. out of timeouts. Pitt has one full and one thirty remaining and a three point lead. And now 
now let's take a look at the Cooper Tire Defensive Player of the Game. Al Krauser, eight defensive rebounds and one steal. And here we come, down the stretch run, or is it the stretch run? Will he go to OT? Will Seton Hall go for three? Hunter at the point, they've taken Sarasoli off the ball. Driving shot, rebound around, half has it. There's a six second difference between the uh, game clock and the shot clock. Browser driving, holding to a three point lead is Pittsburgh. Sarasoli with four fouls, has to be tender. Hey, these are supposed to be the best seats in the house. You got a lot of people in front of us. <laughs> I'll tell you what, these people in the, in the high rent district up here, it's been aerobics for them. They've been up and down and discouraged and encouraged, but uh, they're getting a workout today. Pitt now with one timeout remaining. This Seton has Hall, been, excuse me, Don, Seton Hall is out. This has been remarkable. Seton Hall, an early six-point lead, then a terrific 18-3 uh, to three run by the uh, Pitt Panthers, and they build a 10-point halftime lead, extended that to a 14-point advantage. We're coming to you from the Peterson Event Center on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. Seton Hall and Pittsburgh, the last time they played, it was a double overtime win for Seton Hall on their home floor. Don Cookie with the Bucky Waters. As you see the time remaining. There's been four ties in the game, seven lead changes. Biggest leads, Pittsburgh led by 14 in the second half. Seton Hall came back to lead by seven in the second half. And we have 25 seconds to go, and the Panthers in their white home uniforms with a three-point lead. Eight, eight uh, seven seconds, rather, difference on the shot clock. Pitt's got 18 seconds to make a move, so the Pirates should get it back. Ronald Ramon, they'll work clock down. Yeah, they'll have. And a foul's call on Jamar Nutter. Uh, and on the best free throw shooter for Pittsburgh, Krauser, 74% from the line. He did go one for two the last time up there, but if you're going to intentional foul, he wouldn't be my pick. Our producer director team today, Steve Melton and Bob Frateroli, executive producer Mike Moore. As we're down the stretch run, and that gives uh, the Hall some hope as the ball rims out for the Panthers' Carl Krauser. Sarasoli coming in now as, as Seton Hall is going small, very small. It's well, all quickness and outside shooting right now on the floor. It's a huge free throw with 20 and a half seconds left to play. Browser gets it down, a four-point lead, so Seton Hall has to fire long distance as they come down the floor. Here's Jamar Nutter, a first-year player. Doesn't have to be a three, Don. A two and foul. Nutter goes hard to the basket. He is rudely rejected by Taft. And the ovation is absolutely overwhelming here for these Pitt Panthers on this comeback run of theirs to take the lead with a now under 10 seconds to go. Inbounds, Nutter has to launch. Sweet fires, Nut and go. And that will do it, and the Panthers prevail. After leading in the second half by 14, trailing by seven, they rally back and defeat Seton Hall 67 to 63. A terrific day of Big East basketball from the University of Pittsburgh. This was the undercard today in this city with yeah. the Jets and the Steelers playing at 430 this afternoon. But I want to tell you, this was a good one. This really sets the tone for the beginning of conference play. And uh, it was very impressive. Big East basketball at its best. Not pretty, but exciting, hard fought. These two teams are going to be heard from the rest of the year. John Cricky for Bucky Waters, a presentation of ESPN Plus, the worldwide leader in collegiate sports television has been yours, and we thank you for joining us.